Shit, you know, man. Blow it. Nothing like that. There we go. Hey, everybody. Coming at you from mid Vancouver Island today. And it's just about 10 o'clock, bright sunny day. It's supposed to get a high of about 17 degrees Celsius today on a piece of water here, hoping for a chronomid hatch to start any time now. And uh, I hope to show you some action with some rainbow trout and, uh, and some deep water action probably, and maybe some indicator fishing. We'll see what we can do. Let's uh, go fishing. As you can see it was a beautiful day on the lake and with this kind of weather I was really anticipating a strong coronamid hatch. This lake is known for pretty abundant hatches. Fish were rising and happy all over the place. So I hung some coronamids down off the bottom in about 40 feet of water and hung some under an indicator about six to eight feet down. But the best laid plans don't always work out and I had to adapt. So I'm going to show you some of the rises on the lake here. Now we're about 11 o'clock and uh, there's a few chronomids coming off. And uh, I've got one dangling near the bottom, like a number 16 chromie. I uh, haven't had a touch on it yet, but I've had a couple of fish on the pumpkin head woolly bugger. Been uh, casting and stripping it in, but uh, can't imagine why they're not. They're not interested in the, in the uh, chronomids. Um, the fish I've gotten are too small for pumping so I'm hoping to get something a little bit bigger so I can pump its stomach and uh, see what's going on see if I can learn something but uh, I'm glad to show you some action on the pumpkin head anyway and uh, maybe we'll get some on the chronomids or get something bigger
There's one. There's another one. Took it close to the boat. Followed it almost all the way. Oh, yeah, strong fish. You want to go? One of the bigger ones today, but fish nonetheless. That's shaking down there. Bring him up to the surface. Oh, yeah. guys are suckers for this fly today. Oh, there you go. Ha. Awkward release, but a release nonetheless. Didn't want to squeeze him. will succeed in releasing it. Nope. Pumpkin head out of there. Look at the size of you. You should be proud of yourself getting that big. Okay. That's 13, 14 inches and chunky. There you go, bud. afternoon um, yeah despite finding just let me get this thing sorted here <laughs> despite uh, pumping the stomachs and finding Daphnia and a few chronomids I uh, couldn't elicit much in the way of action on on imitations like uh, chronomid nymphs or, um, or a pupa or or blobs I did get one strike on the blob um, but that was it uh, the real producer this afternoon was the pumpkin head 
wooly bugger. And um, got to say, I got glad I had a half a dozen of those in the box. Yeah, it really produced. And the, the trick was going with the intermediate sink line and, and then the standard strip retrieve, about three inches, uh, at kind of an average speed, nothing fast, nothing slow, just in the middle. And uh, at times it was fish a cast. Got into 20 to 30 fish this afternoon. And uh, some of them, well, the biggest ones, maybe 14 inches or so, uh, the rest around 11, 12. Nothing to write home about, but uh, still a fine afternoon on uh, Mid Island Lake in mid uh, mid March, and um, gonna sum it up on shore, and uh, then we'll wrap it up for the day. Talk to you later. Well, wasn't that a load of fun? I have probably had the best afternoon I've ever had on this lake. 20 to 30 fish, I lost count. Um, all caught, pretty much, yeah, all of them on the pumpkin head woolly bugger or pumpkin head leech, whatever uh, you have in the name. Now, I have read up about the developer of that fly and where and when. I believe it was an island fly fisherman. I'm going to have to check on that when I get home, but if you beat me to the punch, you can put it in the comments of this video on who developed the fly, where and when, and for what lakes. But I think it was here on the island for these mid-island lakes. Um, I tried the, the uh, chronomids all day. I don't think I got a single hit on a chronomid, and there was a slight hatch going on, but nothing very significant. Um, I pumped three fish. The first one had nothing but Daphnia in it, little red Daphnia. The second one had about three or four chronomids mixed in with the Daphnia, and they were like number 12s, brown and black. And the third one had nothing but Kaleboris in it, or glassworms. So they were all kind of aimless, the fish, feeding this afternoon. Each fish doing its own thing, uh, targeting its own thing. Um, but that's maybe why the pumpkin head was the uh, the fly of choice. Uh, they all agreed on that. They all wanted to take the pumpkin head. And when I got the first couple this morning, I was casting with a dry line and about a 15 foot leader down to 3x. Uh, I got a couple of fish that way, but then uh, I changed to an intermediate sink line thinking that maybe they wanted a little deeper because it's a very bright sunny day and maybe I should have should go down after them a little bit. That was the ticket. Uh, intermediate sink, type three, with uh, about a 12 foot leader down to 5X, and uh, casting and immediately starting to retrieve with just your standard sort of three inch uh, retrieve, uh, standard pace, not super fast, not super slow, and they would take it sometimes as soon as it hit the water and other times right by the boat. But uh, they, all the fish agreed that's what they wanted, and I got fish after fish, sometimes a fish a cast on that. So I encourage you to uh, renew your license. Uh, it is the middle of March. I'm on the Mid-Island and uh, the 24-25 license year comes on April 1st. So if you haven't done so already, go to the Go Fish BC website or directly to the BC Ministry of Environment uh, Fisheries Branch, uh, Freshwater Fisheries, and renew your license. It's peace of mind that when the month turns over, uh, you've already got it in place and you don't have to worry about uh, being caught out without a license. Make sure you get all of your tags and stamps that you're intending to, like freshwater salmon if you want, or steelhead, or those other specialty waters. Do it all at the same time and get it done. Um, I had a friend once who uh, thought he had bought his steelhead license and he went steelhead fishing and he was caught without it. Honest mistake, but uh, it still costs him. So get all your stamps right off the bat and don't. Uh, then you don't have to think twice about it when you head out fishing again. Um, Great day in the Mid-Island. I'm gonna, I've got some special treats coming up for you, some different fisheries that I didn't do last year, but uh, I hope this is an inspiring day to and, uh, inspire you to get out and enjoy the freshwater fisheries on the island. Spring break is here, warm weather in the middle of March. We've got days of plus 17, 18, and uh, the trout were happy. They were rising all over the place. So I enjoyed the water today. I hope to see you out there. Take care and have a good time on the water. Bye for now.